Hey guys, it's Steve Quillian from Woodwindow Makeover. I'm in the back of our museum where these nice fan lights just came in. These are transom windows from a historic building in Tampa. They've got repairs needed on them like this right here. This piece is missing. We're gonna do something called a Dutchman. A Dutchman repair is a patch. So if you wanna learn how to make a repair like that called a Dutchman, stay tuned because I'm gonna show you. So this window has a corner that is in need of a repair, okay? And the corner on the opposite side, same thing. See that? With a Dutchman, what you really have to understand is that all it is is really a, it's like a patch, all right? And so the trick to the patch is a nice flat, glueable surface okay so i'm going to use the hand tools on one side and the router on the other to achieve a flat surface to glue to and then after the piece is glued on then it's a matter of shaping it to match and blend it in to what's already there to begin with so it looks right okay so there's an art to it but it's really really simple it's, some people would call it cosmetic repair okay so this is a cosmetic repair on this window sash all right so got my fancy hand saw all right i've already cut one line here okay i'm going to cut with the grain down to right there and that's that you can see that that's in plane with the tenon Splitting this off. Okay. Now I'll shave this down. Flat with it with that tin in there. There we go. flat okay but to make sure we got a sanding block here okay good like it let's show you another technique okay and that's the that's the router technique this is just a regular router okay and uh, I think it's engine three quarter horsepower made by Hitachi. I guess it's now Matabo, but it's the same thing. All right, you can use a lot of different kind of routers, but the idea is you want to have, here, I'll take, take the bottom off here. Okay. You want to have a, what's called a straight bit in there. Okay. And that straight bit, it's just a flat bottom. Okay. Because what you want to do is you want to use the, the router bit to do the same thing that we did with the handsaw a second ago, okay? All right, so now the technique is to raise this bit up. Here's my, where's my other piece, here? okay? Ah, see? The, approximately this distance right here. And look, maybe I can, yeah, you know, look, I can even reach it with this piece. Oh, that's what I'll do. Okay, can y'all see that? Oh, I'm so excited. Calm down. All right, so there. So I'm gonna do. Let's see. I'm gonna spin it around till it's approximately the right size. You see that? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That'll be good. Now, that was a lucky move. Usually, sometimes you have to like set it on the sash to to get the right depth. But that's all I want to cut out because I don't want to cut out any of the molding here. You know, I want to leave all that intact. I'm just gonna shave i'm just going to shave the sash right because you can see this is what i got to cut out over here you see this big old messy glob right there that's a really messy glob it's like bondo or 
petrified liquid nails or something that was put in there. So, okay, so now I've got the, the bit depth pretty much set. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the router and then I'm just gonna route this out a little bit at a time and, you know, and use this side of the sash and this side of the sash as a reference. That's how high my, my, my base will um, be fixed at, you know, and the, and the bit will, should cut out the proper amount. Let's see what that looks like, huh? Grab my router here. All right, let's see what happens. Boom. See how these that nice and nice and flat there. Okay. So one thing you didn't see though is ahead of time I went through and I cut this line here to give me a, a, a nice straight line right there. Okay. So that's cool, man. That's like now that's ready for a Dutchman just about. Okay, so here I am. Now you can see, I mean, I've done a really good job at taking that chunk out right here and it's really nice and flat. So I can take another piece just like I cut before and just put it right on there. So that's what I'm gonna do, okay? So I was putting this one here, you know, and I thought, you know, look at this piece. This is not the piece to use. That would be such a naughty way to do a Dutchman. That looks like a nice Dutchman piece. What do you think? Boom. All right. Let's see how she does. Oh, isn't that nice? That looks pretty good. I like that a lot. Okay, boom. Well, let's let that dry and we'll come back to it in a little bit, huh? Got this big old block on there. Okay, we gotta take that down to blend this block in with this other, these other faces here. And I'm gonna use this power planer here, okay? Um, I could use a block plane, let's see. <clears throat> I could use this guy. I could use this block plane, but what's, what, I, what I'm really gonna do is I'm going to use this power planer here to get this here close enough and then I'm going to finish it off with the nicely fine-tuned old block plane here, okay? So, let's begin. All right. I got it set to, what, 32nd? I'm gonna go to, to a 16th. See that, that's the, I'm gonna go to a 16th. See that right there? Okay. I still have a little lip right there. I can see my, my thumbnails catching on that, okay? Isn't that nice? This straight edge is not so good for other things. It's really good for this. So, there we go, let's cut that there. Perfect. So now, it's just a matter of shaping this right here. And finish it up with my block plane. belt sander to finish it off just right here okay not right there 
belt sander is way too aggressive for a face like that. Is it any more? Always do it by hand. Okay. Isn't that nice? That process is called blending. Okay. Close ups of that. That's pretty good. It came out pretty good, I think, you know. Nice and tight there. Nice and tight right there. Beautiful. All right, so there's a Dutchman there on that side. And, and that's a Dutchman there. Remember, a Dutchman is basically a patch. The screw there is to, is like a pin to hold this tenon in place, okay? And this is the joint held really, really good. And on this one, I just wasn't patient enough. And the glue started coming undone on this before I was done. So I put a couple of screws to hold this guy in. And these two screws are pins to hold it in place, to hold this tenon or this, the tenon of this rail in place, okay? And those are brass screws inside. That's not a screw. Okay, you know, brass screws, so the non-corrosive, so that they'll last forever, and there you go. So next step is I'm going to put some Abitron putty on it in some of the places that need it, and it'll be done. So all right, guys, what do you think? You know, it's back together, huh? Looks pretty good. So those are my Dutchmans. I showed you as much as I could. Let's see if I can remember right, you know hand tools, routers, chisels, you know, all kinds of stuff, blending, sanding blocks, and so there's lots to it, but it's really kind of simple. If you just understand a Dutchman is a patch and a cosmetic repair, and probably the, the trick to it, like I said in the beginning, is creating a flat, gluable surface, you know, so that the piece that you're gluing in for a patch mates up well, okay? That's all right. So hope you learned something. Uh, love you guys. Steve Quillian for Woodwindow Makeover in the shop here of the Woodwindow Museum. Putting stuff back together, an artifact, put it back into service. So uh, love you guys.